So you're flipping a house. Do you paint the outside or is it a waste of money? Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to What The Flip. And today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which is the exterior of the house. Now the exterior is often neglected because everybody wants to focus on things like the kitchen, the bathroom, trendy light fixtures, things like that. And while all that is important, in today's age, when people are scrolling through the home buying apps, the first thing they usually see is the exterior. So it's more than just curb appeal these days, it's what actually gets eyes on your listing, it gets more attention to your listing, and it helps you sell your house faster. So with that being said, let's see what we can do with this house. Okay guys, so your first decision you need to make is should you upgrade the exterior on your house? Is the money and the time and the effort you put into it gonna be worth it? Well, in our case, absolutely. The outside's a disaster, so we're already gonna upgrade the windows, we're gonna upgrade the roof, and that just leaves the brick. And normally brick is a pretty fantastic exterior material, but this brick, the wrong color, it's dated, it's wire cut, so it's it got a sucks. lot of... It, it sucks. So let's fix it. So, if this were my forever home, I would go with a color that I like, like a gray or blue or something trendy. Um, since we plan on selling this home, we want to attract as many potential buyers as we can. So we need to go with something neutral or timeless. So we're going to go with white. Okay, cool. So now we've got our color. Now we just have to pick a paint. Easy enough, right? This is insane. I have no idea how anybody ever picks a color. Who knew there was this many whites? So if you're like me and you can't figure out how to pick a color based off of a little swatch from a store, then here's what you do. You pick a brand, Sherwin-Williams, Bear, Benjamin Moore, doesn't matter. Look at their recommended colors, do a quick Google search, and then go from there. So that's how we landed on Sherwin-Williams 2016 color of the year, Alabaster. It's still a good idea to paint up some samples like we did, but we went with a really popular color, so we should be good. Yeah, it should work out, and if not, then fuck it. Whoa. Okay, so we're almost done. We've decided we wanted to upgrade the brick. We've decided what color we want to paint the brick. That only leaves one thing left to decide, and that reminds me of my favorite game. Do it yourself or don't. That's right, play the game where you could win lots of prizes if you answer the question. Do you do it yourself or do you pay someone else to? Let's check in with our current champion. We're here with our current leader, Kayla. She's a retired school teacher from Topeka, Kansas. She's racked up at a press of $430. Say, Kayla, what are you gonna do with all that cash? Hey girls, mama misses you. I'm gonna be taking everyone to the Golden Corral whenever I get home. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, you'll be able to play for that and a whole lot more. Let's take a look at our grand prize. It's a new color TV from Admiral. Watch all your favorite programs and study color from westerns to romance on your new color TV from Admiral. Shoo, that's nice. Mama needs that. Well, it can all be yours if you answer this final question correctly. In the case of painting this 1940s Cape Cod with porous brick, do you do it yourself or hire the work to someone else? Shoo, contractors are expensive. But I wouldn't have to get up on a ladder or nothing. And paint's expensive. You know, I bet it wouldn't be much more just to hire out a contractor to do it. All right, I think I've got my answer. Don't. Final answer. Well, Kayla, congratulations. You won absolutely nothing. <laughs> Beat it, loser! <laughs> Join us next week where you'll see more people play for a chance to win fabulous prizes if you can answer the age-old question. Do it yourself or don't! That's right. Do it yourself or don't. It's a game that we like to play to see if we should do the work ourselves or to hire it out to somebody else. It's almost always cheaper to do the work yourself, but it may be faster or some projects may just be outside of the scope of your ability, so it would make more sense to hire it out to someone else. So we always break it down into three categories. Skill, time, and money. Skill, how hard is it? I mean, it's really not that hard to paint the exterior of a house. It may seem like it is, but if you take your time with the prep, even a noob can get great results. And unlike plumbing and electrical, painting is one of those things that almost everybody has done. Time. I mean, we could get it done in a weekend, and that's just because we have to wait on the paint to dry. So it really wouldn't be a benefit to hire it out. It wouldn't get done any faster. And money. 
How much is it going to cost you? Well, we called three contractors, and the average cost that they quoted us was $2,400. That's a lot of money. And if we did it ourselves, it would only be $850. So it's a lot cheaper. And now there is an asterisk by that amount, and that's only because I didn't include tools. Because tools are an investment. You can use them for multiple projects, and they'll pay for themselves over time. But if you still wanted to include things like sprayers and ladders, it would still be cheaper than hiring a professional to do the job. So in this case, if we're going to do it ourselves or hire it out, we're absolutely going to do it ourselves. Okay, well, that's it for us. So join us next week when we actually paint the thing. Can you find out why this happened? All right, so if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. That way you can follow along with us. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.